camera died and the plaster is starting to set up so here we go I'm sorry guys. Now you can see what's going on. I removed the dam of the stone. That's all right here. And whatnot. And you got the chunk. Or you got the other embutment right here. Now this side will probably be a little easier to pull away. We'll just it's just poured less than five minutes ago and and toss your plaster away see there's your embutment face now you got your whole embutment nice and flat and true so now we'll just take the roto zip and give her a carve and we'll get back to you and show you what it looks like after it's carved.
stone gray. Waiting for the furnace. That big thing. Waiting for that to shut off. I poured some in there. Straight. No water. Right here, we got yellow okra. Now, in the jar is what happens when you don't clean it out. And it's all hard. Eh, won't come off. So, these are old spice jars. We're just going to use a little bit. There we are. We got just a tiny bit in there. We're going to use that kind of straight. So, here. All right. Here we have a baby oral care syringe for their medicine. There you go. Sticking it in the water. And we're going to get just about 10 mil. Okay. 9 and 10. So, 10 mil of that there. That's it there. Alright. Woodland Scenics. Rock coloring. So, the liquid pigments that they sell. And the pigments that Sheffield Pottery sell dry pigments, add to your own water. Another quick tip, super glue or hot glue on the bottom of your expanded foam fills the three little holes and put a little bit of water in there and they don't leak. And now they got rubber on the bottom so they don't really slide around too much. All right. We're going to come over here and we're going to scoop out just a little bit. That's probably less than half a teaspoon. We're going to put it in the first one. And that's probably going to stain the concrete floor. But, whatever. That's what we want, a rag. And we go to the next color. About another half, maybe three quarters of a teaspoon. Wipe it off on the rag again. Better than the floor and the black. Now the black will go quite a ways, so we only want about a quarter of a teaspoon. And we're going to add more water to that. See? The rag. Better than the floor. My bad. And we'll see if the rag will pick it up. Ha. Better. Alright. I'm going to add some more water to that black. Make it a wash. There. There's a good, uh, about a half a cup. I haven't measured what these cups hold, but we're going to find out someday. Here we are, we'll mix them up. Look at that. Nice brown. Come over.
over to the water, rinse it off so you don't contaminate it just yet. I mean, you can, but they're all dark colors except for the okra over here. Don't forget about wooden scenics. Helps keep the hobby shops alive. And why not? Clean it off. And we'll go to the black. Make that a nice big wash. Alright. Now that we got that. We're gonna pause you and bring you up to the table. With our okra, straight, and we're gonna get some more of that off. So just a little bit. And we'll do this side as well. We'll show you the. And that paintbrush is dirty. Because that's orange. Well, that's not very funny. But, hey, that's what happens when you don't clean your brushes. Because, uh, that's more like it. More yellowish. I'll give some of the rock over here. Now we got an arsenal of paintbrushes. There. Let's see. Get some of this. And give it a good old stir. What she be? She be the brown. Okay. This is the brown pigment. The Sheffield brown pigment. Let's see how well this works for us. First bridge abutments. All right, so that's that paintbrush. We'll stick it there, and we'll get a smaller one on this one. This is the uh, the black brown. This is the black brown. All right. I get you off camera. I can do it off camera. Ah, uh, that's all right. That looks good. Okay, so we'll show you what's going on here. We'll get that in the hole too. We'll drop some good stuff right in there. There we go. You know what? I think we're gonna. We're gonna try something here. The stony gray, cause uh, the lighter colors are showing through first. So, we're going to water this down quite a bit. Now we're not gonna hit it all, but let's try something here. We'll try it in the groove. Ooh, that looks like a greenish.
kind of do like a pre-wash. Alright. abutment painted carved by yours truly and then the other bridge abutment looks kind of like the uh, rust from the rails has dropped down onto the bridge or onto the abutment here 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 and here so it actually came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. And I showed you guys what the, uh, all right, so you get the uh, natural pigments as I'm pointing at it into the camera. You get the natural pigments mostly here. And you got some woodland scenics here. You get natural pigments, natural pigments pigments and then you get the stone gray from woodland scenics and same with over here you got hey it kind of looks like a duck right here there's his body there's his head uh, I guess it's time for me to go to bed all right peace out guys